Hello everybody, uh, just a quickie just to share with you some of the um, glorious autumn colours that are beginning to come my way, rewarding my patience throughout the year working with these trees. Uh, just start with this little cherry grouping that I put together this spring. Uh, it gave me some beautiful flowers then and uh, it's grown really quite nicely, developed a nice little crown and uh, now it's rewarding me with some gorgeous autumn colour. I mean, I hope you can see that well. I mean, on the screen here, they're not showing up as nicely as they are in real life, but that's often the way. Uh, next to it is this hideous pot with the incisor pian in it, um, which has also got a gorgeous shade of red. So that's really nice. It's lost most of its leaves already, but uh, can't have everything, I suppose. An array of colours up here. Um, little cornice dogwood and uh, behind that another cherry next to it in all yellows and oranges we have a little field maple so that's nice um, still quite a lot of green another cherry just there and uh, another little birch rewarding me with some lovely buttery yellows Strangely, um, or those alcovas in the other parts of the garden have coloured up quite nicely. This little group here, again put together this spring. Uh, move that out of the way. Resolutely stayed green until just, uh, well, yesterday it was still bright green. I see there's a few, a few leaves just turning now, so um, plenty to come from that, I guess. Liquid amber here is just beginning to turn. Um, well, just beautiful, lots of different shades of yellows and oranges and reds. Um, I really don't think this video is going to do it justice, uh, but it is going to be a beautiful tree one day. Well, it already is a beautiful tree. It's going to be even better one day. Yeah. Dawn redwoods are beginning to colour and uh, we have a nice orange dream maple just here which is also colouring up quite nicely here we have an interesting group this little Japanese maple and this little Japanese maple um, were both from seed from the same packet of seed and uh, one has decided yes it's autumn and has turned these gorgeous reds and oranges and this one has put out loads of new shoots thinking it's spring although it's beginning to turn at the base here so um, and in between these like a rose between two thorns is my wisteria uh, the lilac wisteria which is beginning to color up quite nicely now here we have the beech forest um, again just put together this year, grown really quite nicely um, and it's beginning to turn, show all its various yellows and browns. Um, not every tree yet, but I guess in a, a real forest uh, the trees tend to turn one at a time rather than all at once. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm really quite pleased with that. The orange dream, um, well, it's turning all sorts of reds and oranges and yellows um, putting on quite a show it's just going to keep getting better and better um, as you can see not all the leaves have turned yet so that's good more yellows um, the larch is just beginning just beginning to turn and then of course so is the um, the swamp cypress just beginning to get its bronzy coloured foliage. As you can see, a lot of the starter trees are starting to turn 
um, and the Zelkova in this part of the garden, of which the, the group was taken. Um, I picked some trees from this batch of seedlings at random. Um, and in this part of the garden, uh, these have already turned, again, a range of yellows and oranges and reds. So that's really nice. But I also thought I would show you a couple of interesting ones here. This is a, a spindle tree, and although, although it's lost all of its leaves now, um, they're an incredible hot pink. Um, so I want to grow that on into a larger tree and just imagine a big shocking pink head on it, which would be quite something to behold. So I'll be putting that into a bigger pot next spring. Um, and growing it on into a larger specimen. Tucked down into this corner um, where I'll leave it alone and won't keep bothering it and giving it a chance to do its own thing for a little while is another cornice. This one um, again is more pink than red. Uh, not quite as shocking a pink as the spindle tree but uh, yeah still interesting. So there we go, um, the walnut here is beginning to turn to its gorgeous yellow, as is the birch. The larch um, is beginning to show a few a few uh, yellow needles, but uh, not quite ready to give up and go into downtime yet. And uh, another cherry here, with plenty of the reds and oranges, so yeah, still lots more colour to come. So that's about it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Please, please, please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe.